Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our discussion on finding peace and managing anger through the teachings of Islam. Anger is a natural emotion, but when it is not controlled, it can lead to destructive outcomes both spiritually and in our daily interactions. Today, we will explore how Islamic teachings can help us control this powerful emotion and lead a more harmonious life. In Islam, controlling one's anger is seen as a sign of strength. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, once said, The strong man is not the one who wrestles, but the strong man is the one who controls himself in a fit of rage. This wisdom from our beloved Prophet lays the foundation for our discussion today. Let us journey together through the teachings of Islam to better understand how we can manage our anger effectively. We will look into the Quran, Hadiths and stories of the prophets and companions to extract practical advice that can be implemented in our everyday lives. As we embark on this exploration, remember that the goal is not just to suppress anger, but to transform it into a positive force that aligns with our faith and values. May this session bring you peace and insight. Anger management is crucial in Islam. It is not merely about self-control, but also about cultivating a peaceful heart and a sound mind. The Holy Quran states, And those who restrain anger and pardon the people, Allah loves the doers of good. 3, 134. This verse highlights the high regard in which Allah holds those who can control their anger and forgive others. The ability to manage anger is a mark of spiritual maturity in Islam. It indicates a person's strength in their faith and their capacity to handle life's challenges with grace. Anger can cloud judgment, break relationships and lead us away from the path of righteousness. Therefore, controlling it is essential for maintaining spiritual and social harmony. Furthermore, anger management is associated with health benefits, both mental and physical. Chronic anger and resentment can lead to a variety of health problems, including heart disease, high blood pressure and weakened immune function. By adopting Islamic teachings on anger management, one not only improves their spiritual health, but also enhances their physical well-being. Understanding and implementing these teachings help Muslims live a life that is pleasing to Allah and beneficial to themselves and the community. It bridges personal growth with spiritual fulfillment, creating a balanced and harmonious lifestyle. Islamic teachings provide numerous practical methods for managing anger. One effective approach is to seek refuge in Allah from the shaitan, Satan, who often stokes the flames of anger. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us to say, Audu bilahi min ash shaitan ir rajim, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan, when we feel anger rising. Another method is to change our physical state. If you're standing, sit down. If sitting, lie down. This simple action can help dissipate the intensity of anger. Moreover, performing wudu, ablution, is recommended as water has a naturally calming effect and it prepares one spiritually to regain control over their emotions. The Prophet also emphasized the importance of silence during times of anger. He advised, if one of you becomes angry, let him keep silent. This practice prevents the angry person from saying or doing things they might regret later and gives time for reflection and calming down. Engaging in prayer and remembering Allah can also significantly reduce feelings of anger. Prayer redirects thoughts from anger towards peace and spirituality. It helps in aligning one's actions with the teachings of Islam and provides a broader perspective on the situation. Implementing Islamic teachings on anger management in daily life involves conscious effort and consistent practice. The first step is self-awareness. Recognize the triggers and signs of anger in yourself. Understanding what makes you angry and how you react can help you prepare to handle situations more constructively. 
Once you're aware, apply the prophetic advice immediately when anger strikes. Recite the refuge prayer, change your posture, or engage in wudu. These actions require minimal effort, but have a profound impact on controlling anger. Incorporating regular prayer and Quranic study into your daily routine can also fortify your spiritual defenses against anger. These practices not only bring peace to your heart, but also continually remind you of the virtues of patience and forgiveness as taught in Islam. Lastly, seek to understand and empathize with others' perspectives. This can significantly reduce conflicts and misunderstandings that often lead to anger. Empathy allows for more compassionate interactions and fosters a supportive and understanding community. Let us consider the story of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he was verbally abused by a man while his companions were present. Instead of responding in anger, the Prophet remained calm and handled the situation with patience and grace. His reaction not only diffused the situation, but also served as a powerful lesson in restraint and forgiveness for his companions. Another inspirational example is from the life of Imam Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, who once was in a battle and had overpowered his enemy. Just as he was about to strike, the enemy spit in his face. Imam Ali immediately stopped refrained from attacking and walked away. He did this because his initial intention to fight was for the sake of Allah. But after being spit on, he feared his motivation had changed to personal anger. These stories not only highlight the importance of controlling anger, but also illustrate the high moral standards held by the leaders of our faith. They serve as practical examples of how we can apply similar restraint and forgiveness in our own lives. Reflecting on such stories can inspire us to act more thoughtfully when we are faced with anger. They remind us that our actions should always reflect our highest ideals and values. Alhamdulillah, through the teachings of Islam, we have explored various ways to manage and control anger. Remember, the journey to mastering anger is a continuous one, filled with learning and growth. Each step you take towards controlling your anger is a step towards spiritual maturity and inner peace. We encourage you to practice these teachings regularly and to share them with family and friends. By spreading this knowledge, you not only help others live a more peaceful life, but also contribute to a more harmonious community. Do not forget that every effort you make is seen and appreciated by Allah. As you continue to work on managing your anger, take comfort in knowing that you are striving to live a life that is pleasing to Him. We hope this discussion has been beneficial and uplifting for you. May Allah guide us all to better control our emotions and actions in a way that brings peace and blessings to our lives. Alhamdulillah, and we hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you for joining us today in exploring the peaceful teachings of Islam regarding anger management. Your engagement and willingness to learn are what make our community strong and resilient. Please like, subscribe and share this video to help spread the message of peace and self-control. Each share and like helps us reach more people and create a wider impact. May Allah bless you with strength and patience. Remember, in the words of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the strong are not those who can overpower others. Indeed, the strong are those who control themselves in times of anger. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.